The Vietnam War began as a clash between traditional military tactics and an unforgiving jungle environment. The U.S. military, trained for open battles, faced guerrilla fighters who exploited dense forests, tunnels, and monsoon rains. Heavy artillery and bombers proved ineffective against an enemy that vanished into the terrain. This mismatch forced a technological revolution, one that would redefine modern warfare. The UH-1 Huey helicopter became the war's symbol of innovation. Unlike trucks bogged down by mud, Hueys inserted troops into enemy territory within minutes, evacuated casualties, and delivered supplies under fire. By 1968, over 5,000 Hueys operated in Vietnam, flying 11 million combat hours. Yet, their rotor blades also made them vulnerable. North Vietnamese gunners learned to aim for the distinctive wop-wop sound. The M16 rifle, lightweight and compact, replaced the heavier M14 to better suit jungle patrols. But early models jammed in Vietnam's humidity, costing lives until redesigned. Meanwhile, the North's AK-47 thrived in harsh conditions, its simplicity making it iconic. This rivalry underscored a truth. Technology must balance sophistication with reliability. By 1969, the improved M16A1 became the U.S. Army's standard, proving adaptability was key. Armored vehicles like the M113 APC and Patton tanks struggled in Vietnam's wetlands. Their treads sank in rice paddies and jungle paths were too narrow. Engineers adapted, adding makeshift armor and mounted guns, but these were stopgaps. The war proved that even advanced machinery had limits against nature. Ironically, the North's low-tech bicycles, carrying supplies down the Ho Chi Minh Trail, often outpaced convoys. Vietnam's tech revolution didn't end in the jungle. Hueys evolved into Black Hawks. The M16 birthed the M4 carbine. Night vision devices first tested here now dominate urban combat. Most crucially, the war taught a lesson. Technology must serve strategy, not replace it. Today's drone pilots and special forces still study Vietnam, not for its victories, but for its hard-won innovations.